going on guys? I'm Jason. I'm Chris. We're from Buckeye Hunting and Fishing and we're going to do an update on the food plot today. Yeah, you guys been making some comments about updates on it and stuff. It's been, uh, I don't know, six, eight weeks maybe since we planted. It's been pretty cold here. It's 29 this morning still and it's May 9th. It's kind of odd for us, but it's, it's still been pretty cold. So it's not up like we'd like, but it, it's doing pretty good. So we'll give you some video on it and talk about it a little bit. We do got, I mean, we knew we had grasses in these food plots and we've been fighting them for years. And we got some weeds here and there, but overall I was pretty happy with what we got, especially since it was only 29 this morning, like he said. We've only had a few days even get close to 70, and most of the time it's been raining and cloud. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some weed killing, spray some weed killer. We'll do Whitetail Institute's herbicide and the rest max. We'll do a video on that and how we do it and everything. But we'll take you through, show you what clovers are growing chicory we got kale grown in the other part of the food plot over there yeah, we got plans we're gonna till up a little bit of the new one replant some we're gonna put some power plant in which Jason knows better what it's got in it it's got sun hemp in it it's got sunflowers vining beans and vining peas the sunflowers are in there for all the vines to grow up but it's something that gets big and makes a lot of tonnage for the deer we're real interested in trying to do it we're just going to take one little section and just try it this year. So we'll keep you updated with it. And... Here's one of our older food plots. It came in pretty good. We, we tilled it and planted it again this year. It came in really good. If you look close, you can see there's a lot of clover in there. There's a bunch of chicory too, but it's kind of hard to see with all the weeds. Unfortunately, the weeds are really thick, so... Our plan is to spray it with the herbicide, trim it here in a couple weeks, try to clean this up. Food plot looks real good up through here. A lot less weeds. Looking pretty good. Here's, here's some chicory. Here's a good piece of chicory. There's a bunch of it growing if you look. All right, this food plot we planted a fusion, which is chicory and a couple different types of clover. So if you look real close here, you can see these taller little thin clovers. I'm not sure what they are. I'm gonna look them up when I get home. Then they have white clover in there. A little bit of white clover right there. They had red clover in it, but I don't see any cloves. Yeah, this looking pretty good. Hi right, guys, this section of this food plot we're playing a chick magnet over to about those stumps right there. Which is not as green here. The chick is a little bit different type plant, so you can see it's coming up. It's coming up pretty good. It's, in, it's kind of spotty. It looks like it washed a little bit in the rain. But it's coming up pretty good. It's all down through there. Last time we planted, last time we had a good food plot here, was they love the chicory, so we want to see what they do with just all chicory. And then you got over whole, this whole hillside over here, it looks like green carpet. We planted the vision, which is chicory, clover, and kale. We're going to give you a little, little view of that. Here's a bunch of the clover. Yeah, there's two different types of clover right together. There's a little piece of kale. There's a couple little more pieces of kale. Some of the kale on this far side's up pretty good. It's up about a foot. Overall, this one's doing pretty good. Here's some big kale. Some good kale there. 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 Clovers looks pretty good. Like we said in our video, we're going to try that power plant. I think we're going to stay toward the top of this hill because as you can see, it's pretty steep. Tilling this is a little interesting, so we might run it up through here. Just run a strip right down through here. There's a couple bare spots anyway. We missed seeding. See over there in the middle right there. We missed a bunch of seeds, so we'll probably plant that and we'll keep you updated on that also. 